Sports Radio Live here at the Purple Ontario Center in Hamilton. My AEW Dynamite Flash Rampage event is happening last week, episode 132. Let's go! Woohoo! Let's go! Come on, Moxie, baby! Welcoming my fellow Jaywalkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Coming off a set of three night shifts on three separate units last night and not being able to take a long post night shift nap today. Just like we did, as you guys can remember from several months back, I have returned to the exhibition grounds to meet up with my buddy Remez to catch the Canada national men's soccer team match in their Gold Cup opener versus Guadalupe. After catching the match last night with Ramez, watching Canada's B team, disappointed that we got scored on in the last minute of stoppage time. Oh! Oh! Basically having the wind swept from underneath us. <laughs> Ramez and I went to the restaurant called The Craft in Liberty Village to enjoy some post-match eats in the form of burgers and fries. Cheers. <laughs> but anyways, on to today. On a day where Environment Canada had issued this smoke advisory severe weather alert with the well-documented forest fires coming out of Ontario and Quebec, you could see that the air quality in and around the GTA where we were driving today was foggy and quite smoky. Anyways, we still went out today making time to visit Lilith's site on our monthly visit to go bring her these gifts and wish her a happy birthday. Hi Lila, just want to wish you happy birthday on your birthday. Got you a balloon and a nice little present. Okay. Bye Lila, happy birthday again. We miss you, we love you and happy birthday Lila. Also, while we're on the theme of birthdays, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my high school friends that I'm remembering from my Holy Trinity days. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Chrissy. Happy birthday, Chrissy. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And now, this evening, trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do tonight, we took the car to the Port Credit Go Station to shoot this video. At the GO station at Port Credit, trying to figure out if I should go to Hamilton for an event or to downtown Toronto. Which one should I choose guys? So guys, I eventually got on a GO train, took a quick train transfer at another station, ending up to where I am right now. Going back here for the first time since I went to the Blackpink concert in November, here with my new stylish wrestling shirt. Currently at the First Ontario Center in Hamilton to watch the AEW Dynamite slash Rampage Wrestling Show.
Man, oh man, what an experience that was last night. From having floor seats close to the stage entrance where the wrestlers come out, to seeing some of my all-time favorite wrestlers that close in person, to finally seeing legends in the flesh that my friends when I was younger were big fans of, to feeling the heat from the pyrotechnics being that close to the stage. And guys, I had randomly ran into a couple of my 2011 World Youth Day friends. To be honest, maybe surprising them a little bit. These guys that I haven't seen in years. Yo, excuse me, sir. Are these your seats? Oh, 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 what's man. up, yo? Oh. AEW. We're at the AEW show. Let's go. Once again, a big shout out and thanks to Gerald and Albert for allowing us for the first time in a long time to make this core memory together. But yeah. Check this out, as there were a couple of clips that I took from my phone, which were some of my favorite highlights from this AEW event. And moving on to today, where I'm mainly chilling, looking outside my window, observing the poor air quality over the Toronto horizon. Before I go in for my first of a set of scheduled four night shifts tonight, we have a quick birthday greeting to one of my friends that I made back when I was living at Wysik. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Maya. Happy birthday, Maya. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So guys, honestly, I'm feeling pretty tired today. Only able to take a quick post-night shift nap, but still not having my batteries or energy recharged for my night shift. And thinking about the fact that I have three more night shifts to go, I'm thinking about using the momentum of something that I'm looking forward to on Monday to boost my energy to get through these last set of shifts. And what is it that I'm really looking forward to, you guys ask? Is yet another concert of a group that I've been following for several years now. So guys, stay tuned to see what group I'm talking about. And maybe over the next couple of days, in between my night shifts, I'll give you guys clues of exactly who I'll be seeing in concert. So the countdown is on T minus three days, AKA T minus three night shifts, until we see this mystery group in person. First of all, I wanted to wish all my Canadian friends and family out there a happy Canada day. Happy Canada day, guys. I also wanted to remind y'all that we are halfway through the year and in the month of July. Happy July, guys. And while on that topic, we'll also do some birthday greetings for the day. 
with my first birthday shout out going out to one of my former co-workers who also kills it in the boxing ring. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kira. Happy birthday, Kira. Also today, we got a birthday shout out to one of my PT co-workers who I never see because he works days on another unit and I'm working nights. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Bradley. Happy birthday, Nick. Next up, a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends out there who I'm remembering playing baseball with back when we were younger. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Paulette. Happy birthday, Paulette. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my high school friends out there who I'm remembering spending time with in Mr. Milano's computer tech class. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Dave. Happy birthday, Dave. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my groomsmen in my wedding who is officially the number one ranked Flip Olympics organizer. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Duds. Happy birthday, Dom. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Moving on, last night for the first time in a while, after finding this first floor parking garage spot at work, I had one of the most busiest slash stressful night shifts that I can remember. But one thing that has helped me get through my shift last night is the fact that the countdown to one of the most anticipated concerts that I have on my calendar is officially down to T minus two days. So in honor of that, with one of my coworkers messaging me this morning, letting me know that she bought tickets to the first of scheduled two shows for tomorrow night. And after getting a quick post night shift sleep in today, just like I did with previous artists that I was excited to watch in person. I took time this afternoon to learn a little bit of choreo of these performers' performances. So guys, it's time to head back into the condo to continue practicing before I go in for my third of a scheduled four night shifts. And that just means I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. So after yet another busy and stressful night shift last night, I was able to go home and pass out for a quick post night shift nap before waking up this afternoon to attend a Sunday afternoon YouTube mass. And although I'm still feeling pretty tired, I'm pretty excited because tonight is finally the fourth of my four scheduled night shifts. And as usual, with my patented get shift done shirt on and being so stoked to go to that mystery concert that I have planned for tomorrow night, our countdown is down to T minus one night for that special event singing that song that I always do at this time, saying I've got one more night. But yeah, before I go in for my night shift, I'm gonna do a little bit of research, learning the lyrics for the songs of the group that's gonna perform tomorrow, learning a new language while I'm at it, so that I'll be more prepared watching the concert in person less than 24 hours from now. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't believe just how busy last night's night shift was as well. I mean, like, I don't even remember having a stretch like this in my 14-year career, being this busy, this stressful, and having to vent to you guys all about it. But I do have to credit my guardian angel last night, of whom, while I was assessing one of my sickest patients, saved me from being projectile vomited on of over 1.1 liters of bile, helped me to reinsert an NG tube, relieving my patient of another one and a half liters of bile, helped me regain his consciousness after he went unconscious for 30 seconds, having also emesis around his NG tube, and keeping him alive of a blood pressure in the 50s over 30s while he's on the floor. And for those who don't know these numbers, that sort of blood pressure is life-threateningly low. But in more positive news, I have found these booties that help me silence my squeaky shoes that I got to use whenever I rounded on my patients, making sure that I didn't wake them up when I checked up on them at night. And for you guys that know what exactly I was wearing on my shoes, you probably already guessed exactly what they are. Also at the hospital, on a week where they're easing mask restrictions to being only at the patient's bedside, this morning I was just done with those four crazy night shifts and the past 13 hours that I had this exact mask on. I had also gone to the parking garage thinking to myself just what the heck happened over the past four night shifts. But yeah, 
Now on to today, where we're gonna do a quick birthday greeting to one of my titas out there, who I remember held a birthday party where I showed up wearing a minion costume. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tita Edna. Happy birthday, Tita Edna. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my friends out there, of whom I did skateboarding videos with during the pandemic. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Mac. Happy birthday, Mac. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And yeah, going back to this countdown that I've had over the past couple of days, the countdown is on T minus three days, T minus two days. T minus one night, being too excited to sleep in. Post night shift today, I've just stayed up watching all these music videos of this K-pop group that we're about to see tonight with this bad boy of a light stick on our commute here going to the scotia bank arena to watch the one the only twice but unfortunately you guys will have to wait until next week's episode to see clips from this show and while we're at it we'll wrap up this week's episode right here so if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching feel free to follow jay walker pov on twitter instagram facebook and youtube be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.